Welcome to my print room. Uh, ignore the partially assembled Gundam, that's for an upcoming video. But right now, I'm moving some stuff around and I'm gonna answer a question some people have been asking, and that is how I use my Prusa XL. And here's the thing, I really don't do a lot of multicolor 3D printing. I mean, I, I do do it, but not often. So what do I use my Prusa XL for? Well, I use it for multi-material printing, and I actually have it set up specifically for that. So on the Prusa XL, there's five tool heads. This tool head is specifically loaded with a uh, hardened nozzle. I believe it's a Fetus silicon carbide nozzle. So this one is for my uh, materials that are abrasive. The next two tools, they're just normal tools. The third one here uh, is, or correction, the fourth one here, this one I use primarily for flexible materials. You can notice some of these have been modified to have a larger Bowden tube. This way there's less friction on the Bowden tube when you're feeding the filament through it. So this one I use pretty much primarily for flexible materials like TPU. And the last one here, I pretty much keep this one reserved for dissimilar material support. So I've been doing a lot of PETG printing lately. So for example, I had carbon fiber PETG loaded here. Um, I'm all out of it now. And then I had just regular PETG in two different colors for stuff I was printing. Uh, I wasn't printing any flexibles, so I was using this for just regular PETG as well. And then this is PLA, which when combined with PETG makes a really good support material because it sticks good enough to be usable, but when the print is done, it just falls right off pretty much. So that is how I have my Prusa XL set up. As for this printer, that's a cocoa press. It prints chocolate. Let me know if you want to see more about that printer.